effect. It's a first alert action day. It's been a rough and tumble afternoon with severe weather making its way across Colorado. As you see, just south of Holyoke, we have a tornado warning in effect for a few more minutes and the same up just northwest of Sterling. Uh, so we're going to keep uh, an eye on these storm cells as they continue to push their way to the north and east. As for tornadoes today, we've had six reported here in uh, eastern Colorado. Two in Otis, one in Platner, one in Akron, one in Clarksville, and one in Yuma, Colorado. And there may be a few more added to that list before all is said and done. Currently, we have temperatures in the low 80s here around Denver, 70s farther to the south where we did have some rain move through, 80s farther to the north around Firestone and Fort Lupton. Our current temperatures in the upper 70s here around Denver, 80s and 90s farther to the south where we haven't seen a whole lot of rain, and then 80s out for the western slope around Grand Junction in Steamboat, 63 degrees today and 76 up in Eagle. Still a thunderstorm watch in effect here for the Denver area and across the eastern plains until 8 o'clock tonight. Flash flood watch until 9 o'clock for southwestern Colorado and a tornado watch in effect for the eastern plains until 10 p.m. We still have those uh, severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings in effect up into northeastern Colorado. But here right around Denver, things have quieted down in the last couple of hours. We did have some hail reported down just east of Castle Rock earlier this evening. But at this point, the skies look dark, but we really have quieted down. We could see a few more scattered thunderstorms, but most of this intense weather will be off across the eastern plains. So from Akron out toward Yuma is where we saw most of the heavy weather, and this is where we're continuing to see the strongest storms. Tornado warning just northwest of Sterling. All of these storms are pushing off to the east at this point. We also have large hail reported here just southeast of Clarksville and um, from Yuma to Akron. We also saw those strong thunderstorms. So every little red dot here is a tornado report from earlier this afternoon. Our lows by tomorrow morning in the low 60s here around Denver, 50s up into the foothills. If you're going to be walking Fido tomorrow morning, 67 degrees with some clouds at 8 a.m. But our highs tomorrow afternoon will be in the upper 80s here for Denver, 90s farther to the south, even 70 for Telluride, 80 for Pagosa Springs, and 85 for Craig. Here right around the Denver area tomorrow, not too bad. We're not expecting severe weather again tomorrow during the day. So our first alert action day will expire tonight. It'll be 89 at DIA, 85 in Aurora and 88 at Highlands Ranch. Temperatures mostly in the 90s here from Loveland to Greeley to Fort Collins, but beautiful weather up in the mountains. 72 for Winter Park, 75 for Allen's Park and 80 for Idaho Springs. Our future cast tomorrow by about lunchtime into 1:30 in the afternoon. Look at this, hardly a cloud in sight tomorrow during the day. We will see some clouds fire up in the afternoon, but no severe weather and thunderstorm activity well to the south into Southern Colorado, so it'll be dry here. Our bus stop planner, 69 degrees on the way to school with some clouds and warm and dry in the afternoon. Don't forget the sunscreen. It's going to be a hot day with partly cloudy skies. Our seven day forecast keeping us in the upper 80s tomorrow, then 90 on Tuesday. It's hot again, and this just leads to more hot weather in through the rest of the week. We'll have 93 Wednesday, 94 on Thursday and 95 degrees on Friday afternoon. Our normal high this time of year is 89 degrees, so we'll be well above that for this time of year overnight lows mostly in the 60s and by the way we did hit our peak average afternoon high already so from this point forward we will continue to drop those average afternoon highs all the way to december guys